हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर्स इट कैन बी डन बाय टू मेथड्स फर्स्ट मेथड इज डायरेक्ट कपल विद लोड रेजिस्टेंस एंड सेकंड मेथड इज ट्रांसफार्मर कपल्ड इन टुडेस लेक्चर आई विल बी कवरिंग द फर्स्ट मेथड ओनली दैट इज डायरेक्ट कपल विद लोड रेजिस्टेंस सी इट इज द ब्लॉक इट इज अ सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर हियर आर सी इज यूज्ड एज अ लोड रेजिस्टेंस राइट so starting with the introduction part class a power amplifier is defined as a power amplifier in which output current flows for the full cycle of the input signal in other words the transistor remains forward biased throughout the input signal a schematic circuit of a class a large signal amplifier using resistive load rc is shown you can see right the term series fit is derived from the fact that the load rc is connected in series with the transistor output when an input ac signal is applied to the amplifier the output will vary from its dc operating point and small input signal will cause the base current to vary above and below the dc bias point which will then cause the collector current ic to vary from the dc bias point set as well as the collector emitter voltage vce to vary around its dc bias value with the strengthening of the input signal the output will vary around the established dc bias point until either the current or voltage attains the limiting condition for the current this limiting condition is either zero current at the lower end or vcc by rc at the upper end for the collector emitter voltage this limit is either 0 volt or the supply voltage vcc you can see the output waveform of class a power amplifier direct coupled with load resistance it is the input base current ac signal it is the output collector current ac signal it is the output collector voltage ac signal so basically output signal is same as that of input signal which shows that the output current flows for the full cycle of the input signal right and next we have the power distribution input power from the collector supply vcc what is the input power power equals to voltage into current so input power equals to vcc multiplied by icq and next we have the first factor power dissipated in collector load as heat that is p of rc which is equals to i square cq multiplied by rc power supplied to the transistor is ptr dc equals to what p in dc minus pr dc that means we will subtract this power and this power which is equals to what vcc icq minus i square cq rc right and next we have ac power developed across the load resistance connect constituting ac power output that is p out ac right which is equals to what i square rc i square into rc that is equals to ic vce and next we have the power dissipated power dissipation is done in the form of heat by the transistor itself it is the simple formulas for the power p in dc pr dc ptr dc and p out ac these are the four formulas for the power distribution you can see the power flow diagram of the transistor p in dc is categorized in two forms that is power lost in low resistance prc dc and power delivered to the transistor that is ptr dc then further having two types ac power developed across low resistance rc and power lost in transistor itself that is in collector region it is the power flow diagram of the transistor so in first point we have discussed about the power distribution in it the four formulas are used right and next we have the collector efficiency collector efficiency is defined as the ratio of two factors that is average ac power output upon average dc power input to the transistor that is p out ac over ptr dc third factor is power efficiency what is power efficiency a measure of the ability 
of an active device to convert the DC power of supply into the AC power delivered to the load is called power or conversion or theoretical efficiency. By the definition, efficiency is defined as the P out AC over P in DC, right? So we will put the values of P out AC and P in DC on solving it. We got the equation in this form. Efficiency equals to what? IC max minus IC min multiplied by VCE max minus VCE min divided by 8 times VCC multiplied by ICQ. So it is all about the power efficiency, right? Next we have the maximum power and efficiency. You can see the waveform very carefully. It is the DC load line, right? It is the Q send point operating point that is always at the middle of the D load line. If the operating point Q is set at the midpoint of the maximum signal swing, the resulting maximum power condition may be achieved. For the circuit, this would be determined using maximum VCE that is peak to peak equals to what VCC and maximum IC peak to peak means VCC by RC. Maximum VCE equals to what VCE maximum VCE is what VCC and maximum IC is what VCC by RC. These are the two factors, right? And what is the value of P out AC maximum? That is VCC square by 8 times of RC and P in DC maximum VCC square by 2 times RC. These are two values of P out AC and P in DC maximum values of the P out and P input. And what is the maximum efficiency of an amplifier? That is class A power amplifier. It is equals to what? P out AC upon P and DC. By putting the values of P out AC and P and DC, we got that is 2 RC by 8 RC. That is approximately equals to 25%. Which is showing that the efficiency part of the class A amplifier. This is the maximum percent efficiency of a series fed class A power amplifier. Since this maximum efficiency will occur only under ideal conditions, and for the maximum AC signal swings, most series fed class A power amplifiers has power efficiencies much less than 25%. We can say that the class A power amplifier with direct coupled resistive load can supply only one half the amount of AC power to the load. That the transistor can dissipate and the DC power input is four times the amount of AC signal power in the load. Class A power amplifier has some advantages that is it is simple in construction, distortion less output voltage. The drawbacks of class A power amplifiers are very low efficiency and large power dissipation in the power transistors. So it is all about the class A power amplifiers direct coupled with low resistance. You can solve the derivation by yourself and learn all the equations of power distribution collector efficiency, power efficiency, and maximum efficiency of an amplifier. Thank you.